Hello, this week's lesson where you're going to use this website called Kids Mon. And here's the link right here. You click on the link, it opens up. Then these are all the tools right here. This is a paint palette where you choose your color. They go in here after you choose your color. Then these are the paint brushes. There's some crowns, spray paint, marker, pencils, and these other little painting tools, eraser, undo button, Plus and a minus is to make your tool bigger and smaller. We're gonna choose a color for our ladybug. All the colors are here. You just click on the color you wanna use. We're gonna pick red and our paintbrush. First, we're gonna start with making a circle for our ladybug. I'm making our paintbrush bigger by pressing the plus sign and I'm making a circle, red circle for the ladybug. Now the head, circle. You can make your head black. My daughter told me that ladybug heads are supposed to be black, so I kind of made a little mistake there. Now I'm gonna pick black for the, uh, the wings and the decorations and the polka dots for the ladybug, making it a little bit bigger. Line down the middle, then dots for the ladybug dots. Just putting them all over the place now. Antenna. Antenna. There's a little outline circle. Wherever the outline circle is, that's where your color's gonna go. Picking a new color for the eyes. Okay, now I'm gonna make um, the branch the ladybug is sitting on. I'm gonna pick a brown color I like for my branch. It's wiping down with the paintbrush. This paintbrush tool right here makes dripping marks. So if you don't wanna deal with dripping marks, you can use the other smaller paintbrush to paint. So now my ladybug is sitting on a brown stick. I'm gonna add some leaves to it in a minute after I get all the brown colored in like I like. Just little dots there and there to fill in those white spots. And it's stripping, but that's okay. Next, choosing a green for leaves. And my paint is stripping. But I'm gonna round it out best I can. I'm gonna have to go back through with a different paintbrush to make it a little bit smoother so it looks more like a leaf. I'm gonna add a couple more leaves in a minute. There's another one, filling it in with some green. Using the smaller brush to smooth out the drippy edges large brush for a large area for another leaf. Okay, small brush to smooth out the edges. Grab my leaf. Now choosing black to do some line work, outlining my ladybug. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I think it helps the ladybug stand out a little bit more on this picture. Also gonna put lines on my leaves so my leaves look more three-dimensional and have a little bit more detail. These are straight lines and curvy lines we're using today. That's a curvy line. Here's my eraser tool do that little edge that I went too far and that edge I went too far on. Adding some more lines to my leaves. Okay, choosing a, another color for my background. I'm gonna paint in all this whole background purple. I'm gonna fast forward, bam! Look at all that purple paint background. 
choosing black to add a little bit more outline. Black, I'm using the paintbrush now again for the outline to make it a little thicker. The crown tool for another line on this leaf and this leaf. This is the spray paint tool. I'm going to choose a color to more have more detail on the leaf, on the branch. These are just kind of like highlight lines. That's where the sun is hitting the branch. Just for more detail. That's the marker tool. This is the spray paint can. It makes lines look softer. So I'm adding some softer details, painting details onto my branch. And now a sun in the background using spray paint tool, going in a circular motion. And I'm gonna add some lines now to my sun, choosing another color. I like this orange color. Using my spray paint tool. Okay. And now brown again. So I have some more lines for texture on my on my stem for my tree branch. And a blue for the eyes, a crown. You can use that plus and minus tool to make your tools bigger and smaller for small details and large details. That's how you save right here, this button. Hit the save button. Say okay. And then you will open it back up. Put your name on it. I'm gonna put Miss Stamp Ladybug. On a branch that's what I named it I want to save it on my desktop and then I hit enter on my computer and there it is at the top have fun with this project can't wait to see what you guys come up with bye